Welcome to the second generation Coda Kodiak production plant in Fasini, Czech Republic. Today, we are honored to accompany you on a journey through the production process of the latest Coda Kodiak SUV, a symbol of progress and quality. With an impressive investment of up to 49 million euros, Coda did not simply upgrade the production line, but also marked a step forward in technology and modernization. In particular, preparations for the launch of the Coda Kodiak IV. The first plug-in hybrid version of this vehicle demonstrate Coda's commitment to sustainable and innovative development. Notable innovations such as the robotic windshield sealing system, upgraded chassis assembly line and improved clamping and component handling demonstrate Coda's focus on optimizing the production process, production and improved product quality. Moving production of the Coda Superb to the Volkswagen plant in Bratislava, Slovakia not only frees up production capacity in Kuseni, but also opens up the opportunity to produce an additional 150,000 Kuroch and Kodiak vehicles per year. This demonstrates Koda's commitment to meeting market needs and providing customers with quality and diverse products. In the welding shop, individual parts like the front and rear floor, sides and roof are spot welded. A number of industrial robots manipulate the individual parts apply glue and weld them together. Robotics and artificial intelligence are terms that are more and more common, so it is surprising that humanity has not yet arrived at a single definition of what a robot actually is. I think of industrial robots, which are my daily bread. Because the word robot is a bit like the word sweet, we all know what it is, but if each of us were to write our own definition, the definitions wouldn't be exactly the same says Jan Vika from Coda's welding and electrical equipment planning team. Who will be Coda's storyboard's guide to the world of robotics? It is not much of an exaggeration to describe these machines as superheroes. They can work non-stop, they don't get tired and they have superhuman abilities. They can easily handle loads as heavy as half a ton. They are also far more precise than humans. They can make linear movements in a straight line with incomparably greater precision and certainty than the most skilled surgeon. Last but not least, robots are great mathematicians. In an instant they can recalculate all sorts of spatial coordinates, shift coordinate systems, adjust the trajectory of the arm and precisely grasp the required object. The result is a car body that has great strength and perfectly precise dimensions. This precision is verified on the Kodiak by automated measuring stations integrated into the production lines. One of the four layers of the car's paintwork, known as the primer, is now significantly thinner than before thanks to an innovative technology. This change delivers significant savings on material. That the new thinner layer meets the extreme demands placed on durability and quality is due to the fact that it is a new material. In principle, the new primer does not differ from the traditional ones as it has the usual ingredients, for example pigment, binder filler and solvent, but the recipe for mixing them all together is completely new. And secret, of course, the first process in the paint shop is bodywork degreasing. Once that's done, the bodywork receives its first anti-corrosion layer in the bat. The painting process proper has several stages. First, painting robots apply the base coat, known as primer, followed by a coat of color paint after it has dried and been checked. This is the moment shown in the video. In this particular case, the body will have the Bronx Gold Dedelic paint applied over the dark primer. The final coat after the previous coats have dried again is a clear lacquer, which gives shine and protects the bodywork from minor scratches. The bodywork then heads into the final drying process, which gives the paint the necessary hardness. 
There are people who say that they can only tell cars apart by their color. And why not a Coda? They'd certainly find something that appeals to them. The Czech car maker can offer customers several dozen different body colors thanks to the Fleetbox individual paint scheme option. The standard portfolio already includes eye-catching and bold shades that stand out from the crowd. Developing a color that will work well over the long term across the entire model range and different markets is a difficult job. It's a lot more complicated than coming up with fashionable colors for specific models. The color and trim department works in collaboration with exterior designers to develop colors. From the very outset, the first sketches of the cars are fine-tuned to match specific shades. At the end of the process, the final color is named so that the customer can choose it in the catalog. Did you know that the dashboard is one of the first large parts to be installed in the car during its production? That is because it's too big to be inserted later. Want to know how we do it? Watch this fascinating video that shows the complete dashboard being installed in the all-new Coda Kodiak. You might be surprised to learn that one of the first big parts installed in a car during the production process is the dashboard. When Coda designers have designed the exterior and interior lines of a car, created the first models from clay and then built more detailed hard models, it might seem that the car's design is now complete, but that isn't actually the case. And work continues on its appearance until it goes into production. For the car's interior, this is the responsibility of a small team that makes sure the result really looks the way the designers intended. Sometimes it is only when creating prototypes and working with suppliers of the future car's parts that it becomes clear that some details need to be changed. This typically happens with the seats, for example. When the first prototypes of the future seats are made according to the designer's designs usually at a supplier's factory, the result may differ from the designs. This is because each upholstery material has slightly different properties and will have the seat's foam filling differently, which will then affect the shape. Leather may crinkle somewhere, which doesn't look good, or it may squeeze the foam too tight, which changes the resulting seat shapes. Fabric covers can be unexpectedly loose in some places. The final appearance is also affected by the specific placement of stitching and, of course, the combination of materials. Ensuring that the final seat in the production car is as close as possible to the designer's ideas is a task for Jan Didick and Michael Zermak, two designers who focus on many details of that sort. It starts with the first clay models of the interior where the designers check various volumes and dimensions. It continues with the hard models, where they already deal with details such as joints, continuity, matching of parts and other details. Everything needs to be prepared and adjusted so that the prototypes can be based on the already optimized solutions. For example, our work deals with tiny adjustments in the position of buttons. We mark the points on the model that are key or, conversely, that need to be moved, explains Jan did it. According to him, the work requires both a creative approach and constructive thinking. So you won't be surprised to learn that both feasibility designers studied at technical universities. To meet the increased demand for SUV production, Coda made the strategic decision to relocate the production of the Coda Superb to the Volkswagen plant in Bratislava, Slovakia. By doing so, this action effectively liberates production capacity at the Kosini factory, facilitating the opportunity to enhance the output of Karok and Kodiak vehicles. 
At the Modern Production Line in Ficini, the focus will now be on assembling the highly anticipated second generation of the Coda Kodiak. This next generation SUV will boast an impressive array of options, including five different engine choices ranging from 150 horsepower to 200 for horsepower. Notably, the more potent engine variants will be equipped with standard all-wheel drive, ensuring optimal traction and performance in diverse driving conditions. Prior to leaving the factory premises, every new Coda Kodiak vehicle will undergo meticulous quality assurance checks. These rigorous inspections are designed to guarantee that each vehicle meets the highest standards of performance, safety, and functionality, thereby ensuring utmost customer satisfaction and confidence in the Coda brand. Once the key assembly steps have been completed, the production process continues into key inspection steps to ensure the final quality of each Coda Kodiak vehicle. Below are the specific checking steps. Each vehicle will undergo a series of comprehensive functional tests to ensure that all systems operate as expected. These checks include Make sure that electrical systems such as lights, infotainment system, Control system and indicator light system operate normally. Test the radio system, remote control and mobile phone connectivity features to ensure user convenience and comfort. Make sure that the air conditioning system operates efficiently, providing clean and comfortable air in the cabin. Next, each vehicle will undergo rigorous safety testing to ensure compliance with international safety standards. These tests may include Make sure that the vehicle's structure is sturdy enough and able to withstand shocks and external impacts. Check the brake system. Make sure that the brake system works effectively and can stop the vehicle promptly in an emergency situation. Determine that the airbag system operates properly and provides the necessary protection for passengers in the event of a collision. Finally, each vehicle will undergo performance testing to ensure that it meets performance and operational standards. These tests may include determine that the motor operates powerfully and smoothly, providing the desired power and performance. Check the gearbox. Make sure the gearbox operates correctly and flexibly, switching control signals from the steering wheel smoothly. Test fuel efficiency. Determine that the vehicle consumes fuel efficiently, provides good operating performance, and minimizes environmental impact.